Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Or in West Virginia, visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope and y 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 and over, age varies by jurisdiction, void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.co slash T for deposit, wagering, and eligibility restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. All right, welcome to our Oscars, the Academy Awards gambling breakdown uh, for the 2024 Oscars coming up on March 10th. Uh, shout out to DraftKings, some great odds, on, but not just great, everything. You can bet on everything at the Oscars uh, on DraftKings. Uh, also, reminder, uh, disclaimer, if you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER, uh, 1-800-426-2537. Odds for the Oscars on DraftKings are only available in New Jersey, Massachusetts, Michigan, Colorado, Arizona, and Kansas. And my other thing, obviously, you know, play your own risk here. Um, gamble responsibly, bet responsibly on the Academy Awards. Um we're going to go down the list. I'm going to say something off the top as well. Reminder, these are pretty long odds for the Oscars for the most part. This isn't, you know, this it's not not like betting sports. For the most part, a lot of these are going to be pretty hefty odds. A lot of these, the races are over. And let's start out with Best Picture. There's nothing. We'll give our best picks per category. Uh, Oscars, Best Picture, I'll start with you for this one, Kirk. Best Pick is not betting on Best Picture. Oppenheimer has this. In no, it's yeah, one of the biggest Front runners. I'm trying to think of the last time a frontrunner for best picture was so prominent. Uh, maybe mm-hmm. I guess last year, right? Probably no, not even. Yeah, I mean it. It was pretty. Everywhere we're thinking about once was pretty much a lock, but not like this is, oh, this like, is like this is like Titanic, like Runaway Train, Day One. Really zero drama ever yeah. around this ever at any point. Once Barbie got kind of dinged the nominations, then it was really over. There was just no. There was no road. Mm-hmm. And everything everywhere was kind of like out of nowhere in a sense. And like, yeah, it was a, from day right, one had the hype. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's got BAFTA, PGA Globes, Critics' Choice. Like, there's like no other indicator that you, or that it would go in the other direction. So it's like, why would you it would be the biggest upset in the history of the Academy Awards yeah. in any category. If <laughs> it's uh, history gambling, it's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's picture director yeah. goes any other way, it would be the biggest upset of all time. Yeah, I will reference charts from a friend of our show, uh, Walt Hickey, who does has a great website called awards.substack.com. He kind of pulls together he has an algorithm that basically pulls together all the awards for that year, uh, goes off of past indicators and figures out what the front runners are. Best picture is a the, the bar graph for this one is as far in favor of Oppenheimer as possible. The only thing that's or the thing that's in second would be Killers of the Flower Moon. If you were feeling Crazy, and you were like, "Hey, I think Oppenheimer." The the voting for Best Picture is very weird. It's the ranked ballot voting, so you know an old an old bastard in the Academy could technically vote for Oppen for one thing and then alphabetize right. the rest of them. So it could be, you know, if you wanted to do something, I think mean, the only thing that would make sense probably kills the flower moon at at, at four thousand. But I just don't. I just don't. No, yeah. It's Which not, I still not. argue if. For some reason, Christopher Nolan just never made this movie, and these were the nine Best Picture nominees, and then another one, whatever. Uh, but I don't know what the next one would be. I think probably Killers of the Flower Moon win Best Picture because it feels most like it, or the yes, whole. Thing. Yeah, for I sure. Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Poor Things is the second best odds, but again, I this is this is basically yeah, over. No, uh, I don't even think it's worth discussing Best Director. It's even more of a lock. Christopher Nolan is going to win his first Best Director. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it just like the. Uh, Despite the Olivia, Olivia Coleman sighting, I still think Christopher Nolan is going to win best. Yeah, player. I do. It's about That's as true. big of a, a shock if he didn't. Yes. Yeah. So the yeah, director is is even the indicators slide even more in his favor. Two of the nominees weren't even nominated at the Directors Guild Association Awards. So it's just this is this one's this one's all but over. Uh, acting categories. We'll get into to some more of the interesting ones here. We'll breeze through supporting. Uh, supporting actor Robert over. Downey Jr. Over, done. Over. Uh, the up. odds aren't as crazy as Christopher Nolan and Oppenheimer. Uh, minus thirty five hundred for Robert Downey Jr., but nothing. And then the same with the supporting actress, Divine Joy yep. Randolph. 
3,500 yeah. over. Yes. Never less drama on this one than there was for, because at least the beginning you had like Charles Melton winning some stuff. And I mean, she's won everything, right? Yeah. Every, they've both won everything. It's crazy. Yeah. Her run on the, uh, on the like local awards is, is like crazy historic. Mm-hmm. Um, nobody, nobody cared about an old woman swimming. It's a, it's a shame. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll get there. For my nad heads, <laughs> I nad heads. Can I say that I, I don't stupid. like I don't like uh, Divine Joy's Randolph's accent in the movie. Doesn't really you matter, said that, right? She's, yeah, yeah. She's like a weird body. Not necessarily. She's, she's good in it, and I think they just want to give it something for this movie. But it's a weird. I mean, that is a weird group of nominees right there. Like <laughs> it is. It's, so, it's it's weak. It's you're weak. Like, America Ferrara was nominated for that. Holy shit! Yeah, Joseph just, Foster was nominated for that. <laughs> Even then, we, we, we didn't read the nominees for Best Picture, which, by the way, it's Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and this is in order of odds. Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Zone of Interest, The Holdovers, Barbie, Kills a Flower Moon, Anatomy of a Fall, American Fiction, Past Lives, Maestro, Maestro, Jesus Christ. Um, Best Director is Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer, Yorgos Lanthimos, Poor Things, Martin Scorsese, Kills a Flower Moon, Jonathan Glazer, Zone of Interest, uh, Justine Tria, Anatomy of a Fall. Cool that she got a nomination. But yeah, yeah, so back to these acting ones. Supporting actor behind Downey Jr., it's Gosling. Barbie, Ruffalo, Poor Things, De Niro, Kills the Flower Moon, Sterling K. Brown, American Fiction. Right now, the best odds behind Downey is actually Ryan Gosling. It's a pretty good year in nominees. That's like a good group. Yeah. Yeah. Stronger, way stronger than in the supporting actress. Because then the supporting actress, I mean, it's it's Divine Joy Randolph, the holdovers, Runaway. She's won all but two of the local critics' awards. Um, one went to Jodie Foster for NAD or NAD, whatever. Uh, un- unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, fuck this movie. I hate that movie. Maybe the worst movie yep. ever made. I'm <laughs> terrible movie. Uh, Rachel McAdams won another one. She's not even nominated at the Oscars. Um, Emily Blunt Oppenheimer, second best odds, tied with Danielle Brooks, The Color Purple, and America Ferrer, Barbie, who it's the only nomination she basically got all award season was the Oscar. Yeah, <laughs> crazy, which is insanity. For, for by Oscar the way, shit ever. The worst part of that entire movie was her speech so like she like for the, the flow of the movie of barbie she essentially tanked it and got an oscar nomination for it which is crazy you liked you like the nissan ads better than uh yeah the Nis- nissan ads <laughs> 10 times better <laughs> um yeah so that 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 category is we'll get back to to also just historically kind of fucked even if you go back to last year with jamie lee curtis winning that garbage oscar oh. Unbelievable. Last, that was that unreal. Bad real. Terrible. That was, yeah, that was a category cool. last year, too, just in terms of, like, strength of that category. It wasn't a strong, but, yeah, that was, that was a weird one. Is it, is it NAD or NAD? NAD. How am, am I saying it wrong? Does it matter? NIAD? NIAD. It should be called, like, Subaru or something. I softball. believe. Because I've been saying NAD, but, yeah, whatever. I, 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 Appar- apparently we'll she talk lied. about apparently it. Apparently that whole oh, movie's she, a lie, apparently. Oh. I, I believe no, I did a better. super deep, deep dive in the scooch. <laughs> there are times where... She would have had to swim like thirty miles an hour to get to this. <laughs> like it's crazy. This guy, we tried to get him on the show. This guy did like a forty million word blog on it. It's crazy. You should read it. It's nuts. It's uh, hilarious. Um, so yeah, those categories honestly, are over. Honestly, that make the movie way more interesting. If she was a fraud and <laughs> called her out, like that'd be a great movie. If Jodie yeah. Foster played like a journalist or something, I'd be in. Nyad two, just like the front, like it just goes dives into all the lies. <laughs> Nyad two, Nyad. Yeah, Nyad. yeah, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> the Nyad. Russian version. Yeah. yeah. Um, best actor we'll go to next. Not over, but it's close. So again, referencing those graphs um, from the uh, award substack here, Killian Murphy strong lead. Took home the BAFTA, took home the SAG. The BAFTA, not surprising. Nobody had a chance at that besides him. Uh, Took home the Globe for drama. Paul Giamatti is the second best odds. Uh, He won the Globe for comedy, which is the the worst indicator for a major award the entire award season. It is, if if you were to add to his probability out of 100, it would add about Mm .005. Uh. It means nothing that Paul Giamatti won that comedy globe. However, uh, he did win the Critics' Choice Awards. That has That's a little big. bit of weight, and that kind of keeps him there. But all the big ones were won by Killian Murphy. Killian is uh, minus twelve hundred, clear favorite. Paul Giamatti plus five fifty. <laughs> I don't hate if you want to take a long shot. This is where I think you maybe take a long shot. Absolutely, this is the first out of all the ones we've listed where it's actually worth a long shot. Definitely, I think, so yes, far. yes. I, I like. 
three out of ten chance he wins. Two, like, that's worth sprinkling that definitely. Yeah, I would not yeah. be, I would not be stunned if Gima had won. I actually think that vote's going to be fairly close. Of course, they don't release it. God forbid yep. we find out what the actual vote totals are. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, Gima is worth, I think, worth it is that number for sure. Especially after like last year, we just talked about Jamie Lee Curtis. The Academy loves loves giving awards to the actors and actresses they think are due towards the end of their career like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I just, she was also really connected though, too. Yeah. I mean, but people like the G. Robbie story though, too. He's been, he's done a great job on this campaign thing. He's been Mm -hmm. great. He was great on Marin. You know, he's been Mm -hmm. super playful. Like I could see, and I think there are some people thinking this is not an actor's movie. Oppenheimer Murphy's obviously great. that I mean, I, I, I hope he wins, but, but I wouldn't. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be shocked if Giamatti won. I don't think he's going to win, but I would not be shocked. For those odds, definitely worth it. It's it's one yeah. of those it's one of those moments where if if you talk about it historically, put just, just, don't even mention their names. You have guy who has many great side roles, never gotten the respect as a lead guy, fi- in, a, in a movie, finally gets it, great performance, should win. But going up against, like you said, career. Another career side guy, almost like a like a, like a character actor in some in some respects for many years, um, just this kind of bit player who is beloved in Hollywood, has had some great big roles, but never recognized, never respected. If you just told me that without saying the names in the movies, I'd be like, man, I think that second guy has a real good shot. So yeah, five fifty. If you're going to sprinkle long odds, this is, I think this is one responsibly yeah, so, so far. Game. Like we'll get into better ones, I'm sure, but like this is like probably the first one we've talked about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's best actor. The other one's nominated Bradley Cooper Maestro, which <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, <I'm so. laughs> it's a big day. Snoopy. Mm. Yeah, Snoopy. Yeah, you left really. him in the vestibule. Dude, it's a <laughs> he's been going that. movie. Crazy, that guy. I just think about him. His brain. I think about him doing the elephant man, doing not doing the prosthetics. Just, no just prosthetics, like, just slightly turning his body a little bit <laughs> and being like, Yeah, I'm the elephant man. No, just, I can't wait to see what Cooper. Can't wait to see what dumb shit he says with a mic in his face on the red carpet Sunday night. Oh, yeah, he's, had a, he's, had a, he's had a horrible game. Rough. Rough. Rough couple of weeks. <laughs> rough few weeks. Uh, rough Coleman few Domingo weeks. for Rustin. Uh, and Coleman Domingo, by the way. Can he name Jim Tomey is the question. That's yeah. <laughs> you, you can't get futures on the Oscars. This is a joke, obviously. But if you could, Coleman Domingo's in a bunch of movies next year and some movies that are going to have Oscar mm-hmm. a buzz. Sing, Coleman sing. Domingo is like a guy to look at. Think about next year. We may be talking about him next year. And then Jeffrey Wright for American Fiction, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, they're both 80 to 1 uh, plus 8,000. So, yeah, uh, Killian Murphy, the favorite. Uh, if you A couple weeks ago, I was, when we were posting about this and we tweeted about it, if you got Killian Murphy at better odds than that, I you should be very happy right now because the odds were much closer a few weeks ago, and then he won the BAFTA, won the SAG, and now he's the heavy favorite. Actress, this is easily the most interesting one of the night. Yeah. Easily. We're going to save the second most interesting for the end, screenplay. Uh, I'll tell you what. This is interesting. Favorite right now on DraftKings, minus 250, Lily Gladstone kills the flower moon. She just won uh, at the SAG. That was a huge... Uh, win for her. It is not the biggest indicator, though, for the actress category. That is, going into this year, the BAFTA, which Emma Stone won. I and think close. this is one of the big ones. I think Emma Stone, yep. 165, second best odds, plus 165. I think Emma Stone, that is who I would pick in this situation. Uh, based on historical data, she won. Critics' Choice won the BAFTA. The combination of her wins right now, if you go off the algorithm that we're referencing, again, our friend Walt Hickey, awards.substack.com, he has Emma Stone as the favorite. On DraftKings right now, though, it's Lily Gladstone. What do you guys think? This would Emma be my Stone. big play. If I was going to put like a, actual money on anything on her sheet in the entirety of the Oscars, it would be this probably. I, I think Emma Stone, BAFTA Globes critics, that's like the big three. The, the only one she's missing is SAG, so I'd go with Emma Stone for sure. Not only do I think she had the better performance, but also I think so much of the Oscars and winning an Oscar is the campaign. Emma Stone is one of the most beloved, if not like the most beloved actress by her peers in Hollywood. Like she's just so charismatic and so good on the campaign trail and all these like Q&A stuff like that. I'd, I'd be hard to imagine she loses here, to be honest. So I, I think the odds are great. I'd make that bet, too. I actually think Lily Gladstone is going to win for a couple of reasons. One and this is not fair, it's the way the world works. Emma Stone has won, and she won fairly recently in right. Oscar history. 
And secondly, we live in a world now where I think people are more likely to vote for Lily Gladstone for a lot of other reasons than just her performance. Sure. Movie. I mean, I'm not saying like, just the way it is. Um, and I think she's campaigned very well, too. And Emma Stone has almost played that role. You've seen it before of a former winner kind of pushing a new person. I've seen Kate Blanchett do it before. Like, she's kind of pushing for Lily Gladstone a little bit. So I think I think Lily Gladstone is going to win. But uh, for those odds, I would definitely take Emma Stone. I was telling Jeff, I think last week, I read a great whacked out blog post, though, where this guy laid out this, yeah. a scenario where the two of them kind of split their vote. And this guy is an old Hollywood guy, and he said that uh, Annette Benning's been pushing hard. Warren Beatty's been pushing hard. It would be the greatest moment of my life if Annette Benning won the Oscar for Nyad. <laughs> I think that would be the greatest moment in, in history. And she won her Oscar finally for Nyad. Give her and Jody. Yes. Both yeah. speak their way in. I will but, say to your, to your point, too, about that, um, I think another thing that maybe works in her favor is the fact that I don't know what other awards on this list so far, Killers of the Flower Moon, are like legitimately in contention for. None. Like, this is... Like, so maybe if they're going to give one award to the movie, it would be this. Yeah. I would, it, I would, go ahead. No, 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 no. You can go ahead. You can go ahead. I was going to say, I would agree with that if we thought this might be Scorsese's last film, but he has so much lined up coming out where it's like, that. I don't know if the voters are going to feel obligated to really push for killers. That's fair. I, I, I think Stone is the play here. If you got Lily Gladstone a couple weeks ago, congrats on that, because now she has the heavy, not the heavy favorite, but the favorite, more than I thought she would be. I thought they'd be close to tied. They're not. Um, so, yeah, again, odds on DraftKings, Lily Gladstone's a favorite, followed by Emma Stone, but the algorithm that, that we always reference whenever we do these, these Oscars things uh, would give the weight to Emma Stone just because of the BAFTA mm-hmm meaning more than the SAG award in terms of recent historical data. So do with that what you will. Um, and then also, if you want if you want to drop something on the 50 to 1, a net betting play. Yeah, I guess <laughs> yeah. It'll be great. Drop it it would be – I am rooting for it. It would be the funniest yes. moment in the history of the Oscars. It would be the least do? deserving like, win ever. What would she even do? Like, I, like you know you don't – like, uh, I would love to watch it. Should she even accept it? Should she? Should be? <laughs> no, no, she should not. She must want to no, take it. No, seventh or eighth nomination, she'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> um, like Sandra Holler also nominated for Anatomy of Fall and Carrie Mulligan for Maestro. Uh, so those are the the big big categories. We're talking screenplay last. Because screenplay, I do think, is the other big value uh, in terms of visual stuff. There's only one category that I think is really worth looking at: cinematography. Oppenheimer minus two thousand. Yep. That's over. Poor Thing to Fire Moon Maestro. Uh, El Conde also, Conde also nominated. Costume design. Uh, this one's close. Uh, it's probably worth playing. I don't really have a read on this, though, so I'm not going to pretend I have any real insight. Uh, Barbie's minus 165. Poor Things uh, 110. Seems like a place that Barbie would win, though. They're going to get something. Right? Yeah, it needs to get I like, something. I like Poor Things a lot there. Costume. The costume people Good love. Odds. That those those gowns they love shit that. like that. Yeah, that's a good bet. I agree. That is Plus, a, you're right. That is an academy like like Barbie would make sense because it's like flashy and like it's hip. But you're right. That's then yeah maybe poor things one ten which poor things got a lot of love and nominations. So maybe that's a spot for it as well. Plus, uh, I saw something where poor things they were except like they had won some award for um, costume design and they were like all of them were going nuts about it the that community because like the costumes evolve with the character and like they play a part of the story and they love that because they get to be part of the story so yeah maybe we're right on to something there yes take a look at that poor things plus one ten costume design makeup and hairstyling maestro the favorite uh, for, for obviously for Bradley Cooper uh, minus one seventy five poor things plus one twenty five maybe poor things another good play there. I don't think my, I, I, I actually don't think they're going to get Maestro this Oscar. I, I, Maestro reeks no of, an Oscar, of a movie that wins zero Oscars. It just doesn't. Yep. I just, I don't, I don't think, I like poor things there as well. Like, it's I, yeah, funny I, because all the insider info apparently is that Netflix, like the one category they are pushing hard in is right here for Maestro. <laughs> Jesus just, Christ. Like, this is Jesus. what we get. <laughs> What's the bottom well, line? I can't see that. I'm blind. Uh, Society of the Snow next, Oppenheimer, then Golda. Oh, the Helen Mirren one? Jesus. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, I don't think Oppenheimer has a chance here. Uh, also worth noting, um, we'll talk about it when we get to audio in a second. Oppenheimer, very realistically, has a chance to win 
the third most Oscars of all time. And the only reason it probably can't win 10 is because they combine the sound category, which is kind of, yeah. but, but these are the spots where Oppenheimer probably will not win. Uh, production design, um, poor things, minus 200. This is an interesting race here. Production design, poor things, minus 200. Production design in poor things is unbelievable. Uh, but it is pretty glitzy in Barbie as well. Barbie, it, it, it pops. Um, that is the favorites, poor things at minus 200 Barbie at 140. <sighs> I kind of like Barbie here because of the, it has that old like they use those old stage uh, designs for for a lot of the scenes in Barbie. I could see that playing to that crowd. I, I feel like I would almost want to like live bet it because I'd want to see like where do they give Barbie its Oscar? You know what I mean? Right, so they yeah. need to give it one. Yeah. So once they whichever one they give it, bet opposite on the next category. You know, what I, I think mean? it's got I think it's got one already locked in for sure. I just don't know which song yeah. is going for it. <laughs> but, uh, right, true. Right, which we'll get with the song. Song might be an interesting debate too, an interesting discussion. Oppenheimer, fourteen hundred. By the way, if you watch the behind the scenes of Oppenheimer, the production design Oppenheimer is amazing as well. I don't think. That, I don't think if you're looking for a semi long shot, I don't think that's a bad bet. Yeah, Again, they, the the, the, West, the White help. House set they built, the town they built, they built it is the whole yeah. town. Like I, I yeah. would not be like if you're looking for like a decent sort of long. I think that's a decent bet to make. I, I would, I would one plus fourteen hundred. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't hate that at all. Practical yeah. explosions, a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, that all is that's all underneath the banner. Yeah, the production design of that movie is unbelievable. Napoleon and then Kills the Flower Moon, uh, forty to one behind that. Visual effects. Here's a very interesting one. Not as much as a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, Godzilla minus one was the second favorite plus money odds. It's now minus two hundred. If you got Godzilla minus one a couple weeks ago, I think. I think you're you're sitting pretty here. Uh, the creator yeah. was the favorite for a while. That's at plus one thirty. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, Napoleon, and then Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. Uh, Godzilla, which by the way, <laughs> Oppenheimer should be nominated, should win this award, but that's a whole different story. Um, why it didn't qualify? Why or whatever? Why it didn't make the shortlist is crazy because the visual effects were. It was fucking. Christopher Nolan was waving things in front of Killian Murphy's face, like like in front of the mm-hmm. camera. Like the visual effects were amazing in that movie but obviously much different and the way it was talked about i i, I kind of get it godzilla minus one though i i do think it has had a lot of hype it's had a lot of buzz this feels like a movie that's going to win an oscar and, and people online are going to love it. it just feels like that moment and it's already become the favorite in the last couple weeks yeah, yeah. And their selection I, I will say i'm going through right now it might be i think it would be the first foreign foreign picture winner in that category I, I believe that, which is, I make yeah. sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I definitely buy that. It sucks the, the creator. The creator's visuals were so good. That movie was just so yeah. it's just a terrible. Oh, movie. that I'll tell you yeah. what. That was one which would we've uh, we've Pack all everything. fallen. We yeah, we've all fall, fallen victim to. It. Yeah. Oh, Alice and Janney, not one of her finer moments. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> just fucking hack everything. Hack it. Hack that. it, man. Oh, shut up, lady. But the visuals um, were sick. Uh, no doubt yeah. about it. They were. It looked great. But that was one where uh, again we've fallen victim to this. We, a lot of critics came out of screenings for that. And I don't know if they got like a, the creator pin and like a free popcorn, but whole the way they were talking about the creator. Yeah. I thought I was getting nominated for best picture the way they were talking about it. Um, yep. And then I kind of, I was like, oh, that was enjoyable, but not to that level. Um, audio. Audio. Best original score. You want a, uh, you want a favorite that has no chance of losing Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah. None. Uh, yeah, not Ludwig Gorenson will win again. Uh, minus two thousand. That that's over. Don't. I wouldn't even think about anything else. Killers of the Flower Moon. Poor things. Indiana Jones. Dial of Destiny. John Williams with the nomination, <laughs> and then American Fiction as well. Uh, best sound. Here's an interesting one. Best sound is interesting. Favorite. Oppenheimer minus two fifty. Uh, the sound was great in that movie. Music is great in that movie. Uh, the other long shots. Maestro. Creator. Mission Impossible. Dead Reckoning. The Zone of Interest. If you've not seen the Zone of Interest, very brutal movie. Mm-hmm. Um. Nominated for Best Picture. Uh, it, the premise of the movie, essentially, I'll, I'll sum it up sh- in short, is you, you're, you're, you're following um, Nazi leadership as they live next to Auschwitz. Like, they live in a concentration camp. And it's it's just brutal. And you're living if, you're living the movie through their their lives, and you're hearing what's happening next door. This movie is it's a brutal movie, but it's based on sound. Like, the sound is kind of the story there, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. I... I yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if Zone of Interest won here. It's got a lot of love. It got director nominations. It's got uh, picture nominations. So at plus one fifty, I don't hate that as like Oppenheimer. Well, we get upset bet. here. I don't think it's going to win, but I, I don't think that's a bet. That's a bet worth taking. Yeah, I would agree with that's that. 
you could definitely live with losing that if you sprinkle them, yeah. I think. Just because it's so, so much part of the movie, right? For sure. Yeah. yeah. Those things. yeah. This is where sound is split up to, though, by the way. This is where this, this will – Oppenheimer winning this will hurt its potential to win what could have been 10 Oscars, which only a few movies have ever done. Best original mm-hmm. song is an interesting one. Uh, the Fire Inside from the Flamin' Hot Cheetos yes. movie was nominated. <laughs> Diane Warren. Uh, I, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to win. Um, it never went away from American Symphony. Um, uh, the Come kills on, of the wearing, floor. You're wearing their gear. Say the name. Say so pronounce the name, Jeff. I'm not even going to say. It. I don't even want to. Come say on, it. you're wearing their gear. You, the least you could do is I, try I, to pronounce I, it. I am, I am saying it. I. I, I Come on, come on. Throw one attempt out. Bleep it out if you have to. What, it, uh, what, is, it, is the Z like a J? That, uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't Waja, know. Ze- Waja Zezzi or Waza Zezzi? Uh, I don't know. Trailer mm-hmm. Tears Jeff, they call him. Unbelievable. Must mean, sounds like it means handsome devil. <laughs> I, know what it, I know what it is. It, it's, a, it's a song that's not going to win best song. Yeah, um, fair. Barbie's likely going to win best song here. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm just Ken is nominated plus 450 what I was made for uh, minus 750 heavy favorite that is the Billy Eilish song it has won a bunch of awards right but sad song but I will note Gosling's won for I'm just Ken already Gosling's performing this song at the Oscars big star categories had some weird winners in the past I think I think I'm just Ken is going to win Mm. I I have a hunch as well. Not, I kind of think it's going to win. I would bet it. I think it's going. I, I I'm not betting it as like a lot. I, I think it's going to win. So I would I would bet that I would definitely fifty. Like why? Yeah, like I, if you're going to sprinkle odds, like that's another yeah. one. I would sure. relish that. All of Let the me, ladies losing for Barbie, but a fucking Brian Gosling <laughs> winning be would be. I would cherish that. That also that that just sounds online. like a storyline that's going to happen on Monday exactly. morning too. Exactly. <laughs> they shut down the New York City office for a week. If that happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus. The. Uh, I I want to. There, there's always a funny story I tell with with this category. A couple years or uh, ten years ago, uh, John Legend and Common came out and they sang the song "Glory" from Selma. Oh yeah, amazing, great performance. That remember that's the gift. Chris Pine crying, uh, standing ovation. It was a great performance, very moving. The next year they tried to replicate. The next year, or the year after, they tried to replicate it. They had Lady Gaga come out on stage. And they had uh, abuse survivors come out with her, uh, oh, yeah. introduced by, at the time, Vice President Joe Biden. Right. A, a huge emotional moment. And then the, <laughs> the award went to the Sam Smith James Bond song. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Which is like a, not, a, not a beloved song from James Bond lore. Like people no. don't like that song. No. no. Not so like I, the adult I, one. I think about those moments and I go, man, I can just see I'm just Ken winning and he's performing and they're going to have like 50 dancers out on stage. It's, I don't know. It just, I just got a hunch. They have Trump come out and, and announce the award for him. Like they did with Joe <laughs> Biden. I would, everything about that would just be incredible. Um, be, I just, I, I can't bet against in good conscience, whatever weird magic Billie Eilish has at these award shows. Like she, and she won last year, Grammys. right? For Maverick, she did. Didn't she? No, she won last go- year for. I remember her going up on oh, two years ago for Bond. No time to die. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Her going up with that. Oh, because our brother R- 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 won last year. What's the brother's uh, name again? Phineas. 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 Yeah. yeah, not too, not too. One last year for R. But yeah, she won for No yeah. Time to Die. That's right. Yeah. A song that came out like two years prior because of the the COVID delays. Yep. Um, uh, feature. I don't have anything to say on documentary international feature. Nah, I'm not even a per- uh, international feature zone of interest is the heavy favor because France, for some reason, well, oh, blew it. One of the dumb, one of the stupidest decisions of all time that France did not nominate anatomy of a fall for international feature for there's like three people on the, on the panel. Like uh, the composer Alexander Desplat was on there. I, yeah. I don't know what, like, I don't know if they did it because they, they wanted to like, to you know, move around the the love for their movies, but because of that, Zone of Interest is a monster heavy favorite, minus uh, twenty five hundred, uh, twenty five mean, to one. Like, I, no chance this thing loses. Um, Japan I mean, too. Be, I mean, Perfect Days was really good, but they. I mean, if Godzilla minus one was on the map right. and they had that campaign behind it, it would have helped them a ton. Yeah. It, it'd be I, shocking if Zone of Interest lost. But if Anatomy of Fall been up here, this actually would be one of the best races of the year. Category. I, I think yeah. it's the dumbest rule. 
at the Oscars is one movie per country. Like France should have two, Japan should have two this year. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, no, no so so this one not. Yeah. No, zone of interest, heavy favorite documentary. I don't really have anything to say on that. Animated features, interesting though. Here's one I would two, think two horse is, is, is worth looking at. Uh, Robot Dreams, Elemental, Nimona. By the way, Elemental. I mean, I'm having mighty have fallen at Pixar there. Jesus. Yeah. Boring. Boring. 28 to 1 in the animated feature category. Pixar, that's tough. Boy and the Heron, uh, plus 135. It's won a couple times. I think Spider Verse should be nominated for Best Picture, by the way. That's a whole different story. Uh, uh, it is I, the favorite. I, I, think it's a, I think it's a better film than Maestro, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'd say so. Yeah. Uh, minus 225. Fan, amazing movie. This is not a knock on Spider Verse. I think it's one of the best movies of the year. Top five for me. But Boy and the Heron's won a couple times, plus 135. I just think there's a chance here that it that it kind of pulls a small upset. Did it just where did it just win? Did it win the Golden Globe? Is that right? I think it was the Globe that it won. I think that's correct. Yeah, I mean for plus money, sure. Like I think Spider Man will probably win, but yeah, like that's a coin flip to me. So if you can get plus mo- any plus money for that, you might as well do it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's definitely worth looking at. Uh, Miyazaki has won an Oscar. If he hadn't, I would say like maybe that's he has something. Yes, two. two. Yeah, you got like you got some honorary bullshit, not like a okay. real one. Like he yeah, like if he didn't, if he sure. didn't have one, I would say you know what? Like maybe, maybe oh, they give it to him yeah. here. If he didn't have one, I think he'd be the he'd be the, yeah. he'd be the favorite. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but no, since he has one for he won for Spirited Away, but it's it's worth looking at. Um, and then lastly, screenplay, uh, original screenplay. Anatomy of Fall is minus 250. I think that makes – so screenplay is interesting, Caddy, before we get into it. Because screenplay for for a long time – and, Kirk, I know you and I have talked about this recently. Uh-huh. For a long time, it was considered, like, the runner-up award. And I just don't think that's the case anymore. Like, I, I think, think that's right. Like, yeah. the, the good movie, like, like, oh, it didn't win Best Picture. It's going to win screenplay. But, like, I don't know. But anyway, Anatomy of Fall is minus 250. Anatomy of Fall has gotten so much love that I, I do think this is what wins. Um, but Holdovers is behind it. At plus two hundred, past lives very deserving nominee at five hundred, and then Maestro in, in, in May December. Which I'll tell Maestro, you what, if film, if film Twitter and film Reddit had their say, May December would sweep the win everything. Win everything. Jesus Charles Christ. Melton would be racking up the awards. I've lost my mind over Charles Melton. He's not good <laughs> in I, that fucking movie. Just not. And they, they, he, dude, he he's he had right. his ass in the Criterion Collection, like do like God. doing his selections. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, this guy was just like an okay piece of a pretty oh, just average movie. It's crazy. Uh, here's its nominee. Here's lifetime nominee. movie. <laughs> yeah. Holdovers. I don't think holdovers will win. I, I do think this is anatomy of a fall, but I mean, it's yeah. one of those where at, at your own risk, obviously responsibly, if you and want like, to take something that has odds. In like maybe. 1996, the holdovers would definitely have won this category. It would be like oh, minus five thousand. Yeah. You don't believe it. Yeah, the world has changed now. So I uh and, and it's I mean, I I actually think it's probably the right choice. So yeah, yeah, I would agree. I think there's a lot of drama there. I I kinda I don't hate like a long shot small something on past lives. Past lives. That. That's the only one I would say. I don't hate that either. Five hundred, right. yeah. Good ass yeah. movie too. Great, yeah, great movie. Um Fucking nice yeah, people some deserving all, nominations. All the big guys in like Hollywood have mentioned past lives is one of their favorites from the year like Scorsese, Nolan, Spielberg, Spielberg. Like, right yeah, yeah right Spielberg yeah. it's true yeah it, that is true so yeah past lives of 500 that's um good. that's a good one last one and this is the one where I do think this is I think this is some of the best value on the board adaptive screenplay there's not a lot of indicators here or the, the big indicator is not available the WGA awards the Writers Guild Association yeah. awards is not till April yeah. as we mentioned at the beginning of the podcast so we don't know what's going to win this uh, it makes it a complete crapshoot. American Fiction, oh, I love the movie, is the favorite, minus two fifty. I think Oppenheimer at two hundred is the is the move here. Um, I think Oppenheimer is going to have such a big night that it just cleans up in a bunch of these big awards, and I think this one is included. I think it does win screenplay. That's my prediction. So I think plus two hundred for Oppenheimer is great odds here. Yeah. I also I, agree. I don't think I hate Barbie there too. Like just for oh well, obviously a much longer I, shot. I would but. agree. I've said for a while. I said if, if you do just want to sprinkle long shots, I said that this is a spot where I I don't like because the hype around who wrote it, how much people yeah. talked about it. Like I don't hate that for, it, but I do uh, Oppenheimer. I kind of have zoned in here. Yeah. And let's be clear. It's not who we think deserves to win. It. It's just more like who indicators plus who they usually do vote yeah. for. 
Yeah. So I mean, I'm, I'm I'm very surprised American fiction has held on to this to this favorite spot. It's gone up over the last like two weeks. Yeah. It's kind of Bafta, surprising. Yeah, that's a is, movie that's think, that's a movie that's risen for sure. Like if they release the best picture balloting, I think it's going to be way higher than you would have thought two months ago or a month ago. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty funny. It's one of the funniest movies this year, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Movie. Like the, and, and and I think Jeffrey Wright is one of is one of those guys yeah. too. Like it's Boy. kind of it's actually kind of funny. You look at some of these the people nominated this year, and there is like. It, it is a cool best actor category because you got a couple guys, Jeffrey Wright, Paul Giamatti, Killing Murphy, are always off to the side who kind of get to shine a little bit with this yeah. with, with the yeah, nomination. Jay Cooper so. out in this, yeah, you get sort of these career. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paul Cooper. Yeah. Oh, I, I tell you what, I, there's nothing I'm more excited for though than than the the, the Nyad clips on Sunday night. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> the Nyad clip at the SAG was the best one where Jodie Foster's <laughs> holding her up at the end and she's giving that speech. And I'm like, this is like. This is a real movie. They released this movie. Like this is, yeah. this is a real thing. Oh, oh my! God. I, 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 I'm obsessed with this. Jeff knows. Who who do you think will present Best Picture? Right. Great question. Ooh, let me get yeah. a let Spielberg? me get a list. Do we, do we have the full Spielberg's presenters always, list? Spielberg's always a good a good bet for that. For um, for picture. Yeah. Do you think Spielberg gives? Um, do you think Zilla? he gives out? Director, to Nolan. director, though that's what I think you might do. Yeah, it's sort of the the torch being handed over in a way. All right, let me let me let me read off who's who's here as presenter. A lot of times, the best picture they, presenter they, is not announced. They keep though. that quiet generally, though. Yeah, yeah, right. So I'll just say who's announced: Mahershala Ali, Emily. Which, by the way, you can't bet. This is just us talking. You can't bet on this. Right. Mahershala Ali, Emily Blunt, Bad Bunny, Nicolas Cage. I think it's which Bad Bunny. Yeah, yeah, Bad Bunny. <laughs> plus best plus five million. <laughs> imagine and to present best picture bts um, be yeah <laughs> nicholas cage jamie lee curtis obviously she'll be doing best supporting actress or actor actor probably yeah um cynthia revo american Ferrer, america ferrera sally field brendan frazier will be doing uh actress uh ryan gosling ariana grande chris hemsworth uh dwayne johnson you think the rock would ever pronounce oh, whatever god he's, 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 not. he's yeah not not there Regina King, Ben Kingsley, Jessica Lange, Jennifer Lawrence, Melissa McCarthy, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey does feel like I was going to give out best picture at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Regina Kate McKinnon, Rita, Rita Moreno. Maybe. Um, you you got to be like huge star, like huge. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lupita Nyongo, Catherine O'Hara, mm-hmm. Al Pacino. Yeah. Oh, uh, cool. Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, Kiwi oh, yeah, Kwan. They're together, right? For uh, Scarface reunion. They're, they're actually presenting yeah, something saying. together. <laughs> Next uh, Issa Rae, Tim Robbins, Sam Rockwell, Octavia Spencer, Steven Spielberg, uh, Mary mm. St- Mary Mary Steenburgen is really giving out an award. Really? Nice. Yeah. Is Ted Danson going to be there? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to say I was going to say Meryl Streep, but then she showed up at the Grammys a few weeks ago, so that's out. I, right. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Hanks, uh, Anya Taylor Joy, Charlize Theron, Christoph Waltz, Forrest Whitaker, Michelle Yeoh, who will pronounce who will uh, Actor, present. Yeah. Actor and then Rami Youssef and Zendaya. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Uh, don't know. Zendaya going up there. Would that be shocking? For best picture? Best picture, I think a little She's young. You gotta be a prestige. Star. No, but they do like a prestige old person. Yeah, though, they right? do like yeah. Nicholson in the past yeah. and like storied person. And Spielberg. It's gonna be somebody and, like that. And I and I and obviously they don't know the winners as as evidenced by when they made the best <laughs> yeah. actor category last a couple years ago to honor the uh the late Chadwick Boseman, only for him to lose. Do you think, like, with, like with moment. an assumption, it's up and out? Like, is there a is there someone for Best Picture that they, that could be for Nolan that they would do that for? I mean, you could do uh, somebody like you could literally have like Michael Caine and Morgan Freeman do it together from like Batman or something like, like two old men. Like, yeah, I old, can see yeah. them doing Oldman. Yeah, Oldman's in the movie, but maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's that's. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. He's true, and I forgot. Uh, maybe Bale. I mean, if Bale, Bale will be in town. That's sure. True. Yeah. You oh, can I, do that. I don't. Bale. I don't hate Christian. I don't hate Christian Bale. Love it. Love it when Christian Bale gets up at an award show and then Twitter loses his uh, fucking then, mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Twitter. He's yeah. English. He's English. Um, no idea. Performances no idea. will be Ryan Gosling, Mark Ronson for I'm Just Ken, Billy Eilish, Phineas for What I Was Made For, Becky G doing Flame and Hot, John Batiste doing It Never Went Away, and then. The the Osage singers Scott George doing that song I can't pronounce I'm not gonna uh, try it. Uh, okay and Jimmy Kimmel hosting oh thank God yeah <laughs> for yeah. the for the for the for the fifth fucking time can't wait to hear that again 
You with hamburgers? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's like, can we can I, like? <laughs> I, I've given up on that one, by the way. Like, like, like getting angry about prison. Starts uh, an hour earlier post. for me. That's a good thing. So I'm happy. It starts yeah. at seven. Um, on oh, and then the um, honorary awards going to <coughs> Angela Bassett, uh, Mel Brooks, Carol Littleton. Okay, making sure I'm not missing anything here. Anyway. Uh, obviously, uh, please uh, play responsibly on DraftKings. Mm-hmm. Shout out to DraftKings uh, for having all these odds, by the way. It's great. Um, if you're in New Jersey, Massachusetts, Michigan, Colorado, Arizona, and Kansas, and remember, um, if you do um, have a gambling problem, uh, you can uh, always act on that uh, with 1-800-GAMBLER. Uh, 1-800-426-2537. I mentioned a bunch. Uh, there, There's some... There's some categories for sprinkles, some things to look at if you want to take some chances. Uh, Oppenheimer are probably going to be the big winner, and then we reset uh, for next year, which is going to be quite the race for next year. Who fucking Doom, knows? baby. My will God. It, will it even be a race, Jeff? It'll be a sand walk. <laughs> uh, we'll, 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 bring this, uh, we'll bring this up, too. We'll, can you see if Oppenheimer wins, will two big Blockbuster epics win back to back years. That seems like unlikely. I could see like well, they, sure they're, gonna, so. you, they, they're gonna force a coda down your throat. Yeah, like, like yeah, I just feel like a coda is gonna win next like, year. Yeah. Like the whole seen, Dover, too. If the holdovers came out at the end of this year instead, like that kind of movie, like a little scrap. Yeah, like movie. I could I just see, yeah, like I don't know what it is. Some, drama is not gonna work for them. No way. Yeah. Some some guy in like, yeah, some guy they, like in a wheelchair or something. They yeah, also right. hate yeah. sci fi. <laughs> You can't it's true. True. <laughs> true. 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 Um, that's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you for listening and watching. Um, the Oscars is finally here. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. Or in West Virginia, visit 1 800 Gambler.net. In New York, call 877 8 Hope NY or text Hope NY 467 369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888 789 7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 and over, age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.co slash t for deposit, wagering, and eligibility restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. 